Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm diving into the Less Hustle, More Jesus devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. Here is a look at the mini book that I created this month for the kit. I do have a video, I will link it down below, showing how I put that together. Um, but today I am diving into a brand new Bible. So I wanted to show you, I get a lot of questions about how I know when it's time to move to a new Bible. And so this is the exact same Bible. And you can see just how full the one on the left is. And on the back here, you can see the binding is starting to break down because it's so full. So no, I have not documented every single page in that Bible. Um, there's probably about, I don't know, 120 to 150 entries in there, um, but it's just getting too full and most of the New Testament is journaled. So uh, I did go ahead and grab a new Bible to dive into. So I also wanted to show you the stamp set from this month's kit um, and some of the different ways that you can use it. So you can use just the outline, just the solid, or you can go in and do some techniques with a combination of both. Now this stamp set is, um, sorry for my headshot there, um, is very soft. So you want to be careful when you're stamping with the outlined image, especially to not press too hard because it will really mush those lines and create really thick lines. So you can see you can either fill in the outlines or do kind of an offset technique. I also had some questions about how this um, set compares to the one from Sunshine Stamp Co. that's similar. Uh, I don't think this one's available any longer, um, but some of you may have it. So I wanted to show you uh, some of the differences. So the Sunshine Stamp Co. letters are taller and thinner. So it is slightly different, not very different. They are very, very similar. They both include numbers. And uh, the Sunshine Stamp Co. one comes with a few more uh, punctuation type stamps. So just depends on whether you have that set or not. Um, they are pretty, pretty close. So now I'm going to go ahead and dive into this entry. I am journaling Psalm 86 verse 15, which is the verse on the session one card. Um, and I'm going in and stamping using the stamp set. Now, the way these stamps are cut, I have found that if you line them all up on your block at once and stamp it, they are way spaced out. So I do prefer to take each individual letter and stamp it. That way I can get them a little bit closer together. Um, you could go in with some really sharp uh, scissors and kind of trim off the excess um, part of the stamp if you wanted to be able to get the letters closer together, which I may go ahead and do. It will also make it easier to um, put them back on the stamp backer sheet and they will have a little bit more wiggle room. So I may go in and trim down the stamps a little bit. But like I said, I'm working in Psalm 86 verse 15. Uh, it says, but you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. So I'm spelling out here, rest in his strength. And I'll talk about that just in a second here. But for the background, I'm going to be doing some confetti, which I think everybody has been doing <laughs> as we dive into the set. Uh, it's just so fun. Uh, Shauna showed how she did her confetti using a eraser um, and stamp ink. I am using the period from the homespun alpha stamp set. So I will link that down below. A lot of us have that stamp set. Um, and the period is a perfect little circle to use for confetti. And instead of ink, I am using my big brush markers. Um, and so I do have a color swatch pulled up for this kit. It will be over on my blog so you can check out and see what colors I pulled to match. And I just quickly went through and stamped this out. Now I am dirtying up the stamp on the back of my hand before I ink it up with the brush markers and that just gives you a better impression. But I'm just randomly going in there. so. This particular devotional is talking about um, taking time away from our busy lives to rest in Jesus and focus in on his attributes, the attributes of God, and using those as an example for how we are to live out our lives. And so the devotional content is very short, so I would encourage you to jump in and read some commentary. I love the Blue Letter Bible app for commentary. I will link that down below for you guys as well. Um, and just dive in and really spend some more time reading and studying on your own because the devotional content is 
pretty light with this kit um, and so I did have to work to kind of tie in the titles that were on the card with the prompt questions with the verse it kind of seemed a little all over the place uh, honestly but I was able to dive in and do some studying and be able to pull everything together so now this little piece here is some fabric that I sewed onto some cardstock and I wanted to incorporate some of the elements that I had used in my mini book but I didn't want to sew directly into my Bible so this is a way to add that sewn texture into your Bible without actually sewing onto the page so I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down it does uh, create some bulk which is fine. You can see my other Bible got super bulky and it's okay. Uh, I probably get about six to eight months out of a Bible before I have to switch to a new one. So, and I am okay with that. And then when I adhered the die cut piece from the kit down, I only adhered it down on the left side of the die cut. That way I can still lift it and read the text if I want to. Um, I am okay with covering the text in this Bible. This is journaling Bible number five for me. So I have plenty of Bibles to read and study in. And so if text gets covered, it's not the end of the world. I did go ahead and pull out the word Fetty that comes from the kit, and that spells out, you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, and pulled out some of the enamel heart stickers, and then I'm going to create a little tab cluster at the top here. So I am only going to use half of the tab since I used quite a few of the elements in my mini book, and then I have another little piece of that fabric, and I'm going to attach that with my tiny attacher. I am all about texture right now. So we've got the staples and the sewing and the fabric and just lots of fun there. I did go ahead and stamp using the Illustrated Faith um, pigment ink so that didn't bleed through. You can see I got a little bit of bleed through with the big brush markers, but not too bad. It'll be pretty easy to cover. And for the stickiness on the back of that sticker, I use the EK Success powder tool that takes that away go ahead and highlight my verse. Again, that's Psalm 86, verse 15. And then I went ahead and just journaled out um, a short little prayer, little notes there. And that was it for my entry. I will do some more journaling in my mini book as we go along here. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the links uh, underneath the video as well as over my blog for all the products used in the video today. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.